Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we are we are on our way to downtown of Medellin from Plaza Boliviana. As the I think third or fourth or third part of my trip look. I'm crossing the bridge of this river. I'm sorry I'm not very prepared. I didn't learn the name of the river. But I would say it's pretty interesting for you. I don't take a taxi, I, I like to walk a lot. Obviously it's not a 15 minutes town, right? <laughs> right on, right on. Oh my god, it's really, it's really tight here, but at least there is some pavement. Because in Dominican Republic you cannot find a pavement. Check it out. All asses of the world, so am I in Medellin. Všechny řitě světa i tam Medellin. Push it to the limits in the life, my friend. It's a beautiful moment. Keep any stone unturned. Some people born on the road, they die on the road. In India they say life is a bridge, don't park a car on it, don't build a house on it, just cross it. That's what they say in India and I think I'm Indian. Life is hard in Medellin, all around the world, life is hard. Be vigilant. American, American beauty. Restaurante La Casa de Ablista. Ablisla. Okay. Thank you for your mm -hmm. Look at this dude. He's bringing me some refreshment. You know, don't be like these idiots who taking on fucking flight packages and going to resort leave any stone unturned my friend you hear me travel like a real huh gotta do hey how are you be respectful to people don't be beneath them don't be all up over them just be equal to them don't back but don't be arrogant to nobody just be on their own level be yourself like they say everyone else is taken <laughs> what a cool phrase is and everybody put it on their fucking facebook accounts so they become just not their self but the typical fucking contradiction of the statement they said what you can do about it 94 percent of the people are cunts you have heard the fucking word of very philanthropic person, you know? Yeah, because misanthrope would tell you, man, the people are fucking human cockroaches. So, you know, the, the Greeks, old Greeks, they got a IQ 130 in average. But we don't live in old Greece. And who knows, maybe it was a nightmare if you, it was not a typical democracy, you know? <laughs> the, the Greek democracy, 99% people were in the fucking chains, right? I you know, when you think it over, there's nothing wrong about it. <laughs> no, if you, you live in technocratic system, you know, where the fucking technology is controlling us, fucking with us, yeah, slaving us, but think it over. If you live in the system where, if you live in the system where we are based, we are like, you know, selected, we are selected, uh, it's terrible, right? But based on the IQ, you know, I don't say that intelligent people are sensitive and good people. There are a lot of intelligent psychopaths and sociopaths. But I think some kind of intel intellect intellectual crassy, you know, intelligent crassy, <laughs> you know, some kind of not theocracy, yeah? but. 
the, the system of philosophers or intellectuals. Not the technocracy, not the theocracy, some kind of sophocracy. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah, because it's ruled by idiots. That's what we said in the previous video. Look at this. Pretty interesting, right? It's the residuum of Spanish Hispanic culture, such a old church, Igles. Pretty interesting, I must say. I'm very happy I went to Medellin. I'm pretty happy I went to Colombia. Walking the world, traveling around the world, you're learning as a university, my friend. Look at this, it's fascinating, isn't it? Of course, if you live here, it's not fascinating, right? But for me, I'm hard to be impressed. I've been around the world. And um, when I went to New York, this is, this is the Times Square. Oh my God. You see, I'm fighting with nihilism, depression, you know. No wonder, but <laughs> in this world. But I have to say, if, if I felt something, it was Hong Kong, Southeast Asia. Hong Kong was pretty interesting town. It was not a New York or Toronto, North America. It was nothing special there. I mean, it was interesting, but nothing special. Europe is a very boring continent. But... I have to say here, I'm picking up some kind of ecstasy from traveling. It's not like in young times when I was really impressed. But I have to say, it's interesting. Colombia is interesting. I look at this street, right? I don't know about you, in Europe I didn't see so many streets like that. I love it, look at this. I fucking love this. Look at the seclusion. Man, look at this, the church. Fascinating, huh? yes. It's just for me. It's for my grandchild. Grandchildren. Slide left onto Calle 44, yeah. Avenida San Juan. Take it easy. Check it out. Pretty interesting. I think I'm in some cyclo path or no? I don't know. Sometimes you can find a diamond. You can find a diamond in middle of shit. Okay. So we are walking down to Medellin from Plaza Boliviana. Všechny řítě světa i tamá v Medellín. All asses of the world in the Medellín, so am I. Todo culos, todo culos de mundo en Medellín. E mi culo también, amigo. Yeah, yeah. Lost in Medellín. Wow. I love it. <laughs> 